DJing has always been a passion for Paul Swain, but until recently, he never thought he'd be back on the decks again. That's because he lost his left arm whilst on tour in Afghanistan. On this particular occasion, we were on a 10-day operation. Um, we were trying to force the Taliban out of villages and all the rest of it. And my interpreter stepped out of a safe lane um, and he went and sat down by a tree. And unfortunately, as he sat, sat down, he pre-initiated a device in the ground. So it's my job to get him back to the safe lane. We didn't know he'd initiated it, obviously. So I went up to him, you know, give him a bit of a telling off, get back where you should do. And I'm told, I can't remember any of this, but as he stood up, um, the explosion went off and, and did its damage and unfortunately killed the interpreter. He woke up in the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Birmingham, after suffering horrific injuries to the left side of his body. His legs were saved, but unfortunately, it was his arm that needed to be amputated. After fighting off 29 infections, Paul courageously started to look ahead to the future. Well, initially, I, I, I didn't really. For a period of time, I became a recluse. I didn't want to leave the house, you know. I was very, very low in mood and all the rest of it. But funnily, I got introduced to the Encores Foundation um, and they, they and battled back and they, they sort of brought me, brought me back into um, playing golf and competing on a level playing field. So it was really the golf that changed things around for me, in fact. The Encores Foundation was set up to support injured and wounded military personnel through golf. And last year I saw you at Sawgrass on the um, On Course Foundation, the Simpson Cup. And you are like a fantastic golfer. You've won quite a few awards now, haven't you? Yeah, I you know it's been amazing really. Sawgrass was it was a highlight, you know, getting that winning put for the, the Simpson Cup. Yeah, I had to get that one in. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I see myself very lucky. You know, I, I've been injured and um, it's not ideal, but since then I've been very lucky and, you know, not really looking back and going forward. The confidence that Paul gained from playing golf has filtered into other areas of his life. He's now going back to DJing, a hobby that was heavily influenced by the dance scene in the late 1990s and his DJ hero, Judge Jules. This is his second gig, a charity club night in aid of Help for Heroes. Since the injury, I've not been on the decks much at all, so I'm looking forward to, to getting back on there and, you know, getting some tunes out to people. And, yeah, I'm, I'm actually excited, but a little bit of nerves there as well. So, Paul, you said people do look at your arm mm. when you're out and about. How do you find it actually DJing? Do people notice? Yeah, people sort of look straight the way and are focused to the arm, but uh, it's, uh, you know, they, they, I think they're just intrigued, really, as how to how I'm getting, getting by and, and making it happen. So, yeah, I enjoy it just as much. It's a bit tricky with my headphones, getting them on and off with one arm, but I managed, I managed to do it. But Paul had nothing to feel anxious about. So proud. Yeah, so very proud. But I think it's Paul's determination that's got him where he is. Because even when he was a little boy at school, you know, if you only had to pass an exam by 60%, if he didn't get 100 and he got 80, he, he felt like a failure. So he's always had that thing to go and go and go, you know. For the last two years, the money raised for Help for Heroes has been instrumental in helping Paul move on after his injury. So tonight he's playing his set not only because he has a passion for DJing, but because he's hoping to raise even more money for the charity. And I guess I can make myself useful as well. Raffle tickets. It's a big night for Paul and a few old friends have turned up for moral support. His comrades from 912 Royal Lancers. Well, it was always good DJ. It's probably better now. Uh, he could probably beat me at golf, even with one arm. The fact that, you know, he's done so much with his life now and he's gone, you know, yes, I am injured, I've lost an arm, I've got injuries, but, you know, I've got on my life, I'm doing this for Health Heroes, and, you know, he's, he's just an awesome guy, really. Very good, even downloaded the CD you can do for charity, that was really, really good. Kids have got it on their iPods as well, so, yeah, yeah, it's good. But it's not just the military who are enjoying Paul's DJ set. Yeah, it was good. He was playing like really good lift me up music. So it was a good night, definitely. To come back. You know, Paul's created such a great vibe for the night. Even people that have not served, civilians. It's just brought everyone together, all, you know, due to music. Oh, it's fantastic. You can see the smile on my face. I mean, the response has been amazing. To see some of the old friends from the regiment as well is just topped it off you know and I can't thank people around me enough for all the support so I hope that we've raised a good amount for the charity but uh, we've all had some good fun so I think that's what matters as well. Paul's set has been a success with the crowd here boosting his confidence to continue with a talent that he loves 
and he's not stopping there. He's got plenty in the pipeline, including a personal trainer business, working in the golf industry and giving inspirational speeches to the military and six formers. And of course, spinning the decks. Laura Hawkins, Forces News, Leicester.